started fishing obviously when I was a little kid, uh, going back to digging up worms in my backyard with my uncle and going out bass fishing uh, in some ponds in New Hampshire. And I remember we had pretty good luck for largemouth. Once I moved to Colorado, there was not a whole lot of bass fishing to go down there. So did a couple like high mountain streams, did some stuff, uh, spin fishing, but nothing really too fly fishing oriented until I moved to Montana. And in Montana, I just fell in love with fly fishing. I had a buddy, I uh, had an extra fly rod in Montana and he took me out fishing on the Gallatin River for the first time. Pretty much from there on, I just remember fly fishing every day since then, every day that I seriously could. golf a little bit and I pawned my golf clubs at a pawn shop in Bozeman for my first fly rod. So I came down to the Keys. When I got to the Keys I knew that it wasn't just a nine month, ten month of the year business. It was full time year round. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to fish. I want you to enjoy what you're doing out there and I want to try to meet your expectations of what you're looking to do on the water as much as possible. So a lot of times I start the charter off asking people, is there anything that you really want to see or that you really want to catch? And even if it is somebody that's experienced, I feel like the best thing about fishing in general is that we're always learning. Even myself out there learning every day, and I know guys that have been doing this for 30 years are still learning every day. And that's kind of why they do it. Every situation is always different. My name is Captain Rich Hastings, and I run backcountry fishing charters out of Alamorada, Florida. I specialize in fly fishing and light tackle sight fishing. <laughs>